Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to use the signal inputs in Angular 17 and we will see a comparison between the input decorator versus the input. So, without any further delay, let's get started. I have here a parent component and into the template we have the upchild component where we are providing a user model. So, the user model, as we can see here, we have a bunch of properties and let's focus that we have name, age, and then we have here, let's say, the social of that user. We're providing the child here and the child component, let's go up a bit, is responsible to grab only the user socials and print them into a list item. So let's see how to do that. Here what we have is an input decorator where it is a required input and we have the name user of type user model and then we have the user socials. The idea here is to fill the user socials with a string of array. So how to do that? Well, into the engine changes, we are just checking if we have the user and then we are grabbing the user socials from the user and we filling that into the user socials array. If we go to the browser, we can see here that we have, let's say, the user socials. Nice. How about now, if we're going to change this implementation and instead of using the input decorator, we now want to go and use the signal inputs. So let's give it a try. At first, I will comment out everything here. We no longer need to have the changes, and what we need to have is a user, and we know that this is going to be an input. Please note that we have just used the input from Angular Core. Please note the difference between the input with lowercase and input, which is the decorator with uppercase. And the type of the input will be a user model. Nice. And now we have to grab, like we said previously, we have to grab only the user socials. And now all we need to have is just the user socials. So let me copy this here. We don't need to have here the string array. And instead of now using the engine changes, what we can do is to use the computed. And actually we need our user socials to derive from the user, which is our input. So let's use here our computed. We need here to have an arrow function. And inside here, what we're going to grab, you know what? I will click tab. This is what we need. And please know that since we're going to use now the user and the user is a signal, we have to invoke that. And actually this is it, but it seems that we have a problem here. And if we mouse over, it says that property name does not exist on type user model, union type of undefined. And the reason is that by default, the inputs are nullable. So how can we fix that? Well, we can click just dot and make that required. And we no longer have any problem here. And please also note here the user socials, this time this guy, it's a signal. And to use that, we'll have to invoke that. So if we invoke, we no longer have any issue here. And if we go to the browser, we can see that here we have all the user socials. And if we compare this implementation with this one, it seems that this one is much cleaner and with less code. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.